Hi everyone, welcome to module three, uh, producing the building blocks. This week we're taking your mind maps, uh, your plans from module two and starting to put them into action. So uh, what, what you're gonna be creating are called reusable learning objects. And they are simply things like I'm doing right now. They are tutorials, they are lessons, they're the teaching components that you're going to be using in your online instruction. So when they're more than just this, more than just a lecture or a demo, a reusable learning object is really a three component thing. You have the instruction, which is that video, that uh, screencast, um, even the, the narrated PowerPoint that you record and give a, a lecture or some instruction. They also have some kind of a learning activity or project um, associated with them. Now you might have three pieces of instruction in one assignment or learning activity. That can happen too. But that's the second component. It's it's the instruction and the what do we do with the instruction to help students learn it, okay? The third component is an assessment. It doesn't have to be a formal assessment. It doesn't have to be the, the test or the big project right away. It could be a small project. It could be a small piece, but it is the, the assessment, the way that students and you know if they got what you indeed were trying to teach. Okay, so when you think about reusable learning objects, think about them in that space that here's the instruction, here's what you're going to do with the instruction or what you're going to make, and then here's how we know if you actually learned what we're teaching. All right, so they can be kind of loose. You can have multiple pieces of instruction to one activity. You can delay that activity. You might have, you know, you might have them sequential, right? You might have this, this one thing you teach, and then in just a little while, you have the thing you want them to do. But more often, more common than, than not, that assessment, the last piece, might come a little later after you've instructed a few things, okay? So I hope that's helpful. Um, the, uh, as we look through the module for this, um, the start here directions, um, I think are pretty good. They kind of walk you through things. I've asked you early on in this week to just identify what the learning objects are that you will be creating. Um, it helps people kind of focus early and also keeps you from going down a wrong track, which is kind of hard to do. I use Movely for one thing. Um, and I've given you a uh, kind of a quick link on using Movely. Um, Screencast-O-Matic is what I'm currently using right now. I find that incredibly helpful. And I'll put up a few other things. Um, there's a couple links about learning objects in here. And the true, the true deal assignment, um, which is to create two reusable learning objects, those, those packages. Now, for some of you, um, that may not be a huge thing. You might be teaching some very small components and having students apply it, and it's a pretty quick check. For others, those learning objects might be very big, and, and to truly pull one off might take you a few pieces of instruction and one bigger activity. So use some you use some judgment and talk to me. If making one learning object took you like six hours and the thought of doing a second one this week is like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. I'm, I'm like spending days on this. Please reach out to me. Don't, don't panic. It's sort of like writing, um, maybe it's like a, a paper or a dissertation or something. Some people might write a really long complex paper but other people might have been able to streamline things and maybe they're producing five different ones so communicate with me because these are flexible okay i don't want people to feel overwhelmed or lost as you look at things the resources and learning objects if you do get lost and if you're like hey wait i can't get my head around this um, 
reach out to me. I'll put out a couple uh, office hours this week. Uh, I'm just checking the weather to get some good hiking weather in before I, I commit. And uh, I'm glad to meet with people during those times, but I'm also glad to like take a phone call and we can set up a quick meeting or uh, talk on the phone. All right. So make it work for you, please. Um, I hope that's helpful. I don't think there's anything more I can point out at the moment, but I will um, offer a few more resources uh, here. Again, I'm using Screencast-O-Matic for this. Um, the other way I could be creating this is using QuickTime and uh, QuickTime Player on a Mac. And it's pretty easy to go file a uh, new movie recording and you begin recording your screen right away. Um, if you have a PC, there are other tools, but I'll put up a little list of that. All right, hope that's helpful. Reach out with questions. And uh, this is kind of cool because you're starting to build the stuff of your course. And here's where it gets production focused. So reach out with questions. Thanks. Bye.